Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Sona microphone. Now, this is just going to be a quick little review. Um, for starters, anybody that has never owned an XLR microphone, which would be me, um, the cable itself does not come with the microphone. So when you buy it, make sure while you order it, whether you order it on Amazon or wherever, go online and get you an XLR cable. Uh, I got a 10 foot long XLR cable, pretty expensive one. It was about $70. Um, I'm assuming they'll probably run about 15 to 30, depending on how, uh, what kind of cable you get. I mean, you could probably get them very cheap um, and how long you get them. And mine was 10 foot, which, uh, you know, Tidfoot's going to be more expensive. But another thing that you're going to need is an audio interface. Now, the audio interface that I'm using is the Fine Fine SC3. It is a $50 interface. And for me, it's worked out really well. Now, if you have a different interface, if by any chance it has buttons on it, like on the back side of it, um, the reason why I picked this one was because it has an actual mute button on it. But on the back side of it, it has a switch that says condenser or dynamic. And when you swap it to dynamic with the fine fine, it does not sound good at all. We are currently on the condenser setting and you might be able to hear some background noise. I have my air conditioner running behind me, which you can not really see. It's right back there. It's so hard to point at something. It's right there. Um, and you could probably hear that a little bit, which actually was a little bit disappointing for me because I have the Blue Yeti X, which actually just crapped out on me. And that's why I bought this microphone, $150 microphone. Picks up no background noise, and it picks up a little bit of the keyboard clicks, but um, this thing picks up about the same, maybe even less of the keyboard clicks, but it picks up the air conditioner in the background. It might not right now, but whenever I listen to the sample, I could hear the, air, the little bit of the hum of the air conditioner in the background. Now, it is very loud, but for an expensive microphone like this and an XLR microphone, a dynamic mic, I expected it to do a lot better than my condenser mic. Okay, um, future gauge here. I take back everything I said about the background noise. Uh, when I listen to it in Audacity, I can hear background noise. I don't know what was wrong, what was going on. But when I go back and I look at the footage now, the actual microphone plain Jane by itself, there is no air conditioner noise. You can barely, barely hear the keyboard. I mean, there's like a, the slightest sound. Like if I was doing a, like an actual gameplay video, and I was clicking on the keyboard, you guys would probably not notice it or hear anything. Like there is like nothing. And last time I, you know, did a sample in Audacity, I could hear even the air conditioner. You can't hear any of that. Now I'm gonna give you guys a sample of the keyboard and mouse clicks. So this is the keyboard and mouse clicks with me talking and without. Now, one last thing is you can also, to take out background noise, uh, the NVIDIA broadcast software which I'll show you what the mic sounds like with that enabled. The NVIDIA broadcast software did not help at all because it was not needed. So do I recommend this? I recommend it for anything. Cut out half this video because it was not needed. I was rambling about nothing, but I would definitely buy this microphone. It's well worth the money. It sounds good. There's no, no background noise, no nothing. So if you want to do gaming, if you want to do music, if you want to do any of that, I think it's an amazing mic. Um, so I do hope this helped you guys. Um, I do put the price at the end, but I'll go ahead and tell it now just in case I don't add that part. 350 for the microphone does not come with the XLR cable. I spent $70 on an XLR cable, but I did get a 10 foot uh, XLR cable. And then I bought a $50 interface. I will link all this in the description because the interface has a mute button on it, which is big for me. I like to have a mute button for my microphone. Um, and it's a really, really good interface. Make sure that you have, if you do buy this one, you have it on the condenser setting. There's a switch on the back for condenser or dynamic. Put it on a condenser. It sounds way better. But I will link all this in the description. And I'll still link the NVIDIA broadcast software for no reason. But I do hope this helped you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.